Well, only on two tonight, the owner and operator of a Houston Cosmetic Surgery Center has surrendered to law enforcement just months after his employee was arrested in an undercover sting. 82 year old Rodolfo Giraldi turned himself in today on a felony charge connected to several women who claim they had botched breast augmentation surgeries at his clinic. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live at the Harris County Criminal Courthouse tonight with the very latest twist in this case. Bryce. Daniela and Keith, I spoke with Dr. Rodolfo Giraldi six months ago when his employee was arrested for allegedly performing those breast augmentation procedures without a license. He called it all inaccurate and he also called it slander. But tonight he has been charged. As Houston police tell me, 14 women have come forward with some horrifying claims about complications from their surgeries. I was actually excited because I had twins and I'm like, OK, I'm going to get my body back. This 39 year old mother paid nearly $17,000 for a breast augmentation, tummy tuck and hernia repair. The cosmetic procedure she hoped would make her feel ready to tackle the world. Medically, I'm not OK. Um, I still suffer from it. I still have pain. I still have numbness. The complications shown in these photos started almost immediately, she says, including infections and a hematoma. The blood had started dripping out like uh, three days after it was a slow leak. A Michigan woman who traveled to Houston for a reduction and lift ended up going home with a hole on her left breast, which was leaking, according to court records, before a 12 day hospital stay. Two women of more than a dozen who have come forward claiming they suffered after going under the knife of 53 year old Alexander Padilla. Prosecutors say he didn't have a medical license. I didn't get any of my dollars worth. This woman went to the Houston Aesthetic Center off the Katy Freeway for Padilla to make fixes in October, but instead took this video as Houston police arrested him in an undercover sting. Now his 82 year old boss, Dr. Rodolfo Giraldi is charged with a felony for allegedly encouraging Padilla to do things only a doctor can. The whole clinic was in on promoting and encouraging and aiding Alex Padilla to be practicing medicine without a license, which put all of those women in danger because he's never had a license as a doctor in the United States. Prosecutors say victims only had a quick introduction with Giraldi who left Padilla to care for patients. We all need justice. We receive care from basically a fake doctor. I always have those scars to remind me of all of this traumatic experience. It's never going to go away. And Dr. Giraldi walked through the courthouse with his attorney today to face a judge. He went home on a $10,000 bond. Tonight, neither the attorney nor the doctor could be reached for comment. Keith and Daniela. Hey, Bryce, before we let you go, I want to ask you a question. Did this patient or any of the patients that you spoke with ever talk to you about a bad feeling that they had about the clinic or about the doctor? Like, were there any red flags at all? Well, one of the big red flags in this case, according to prosecutors, was that all of these victims had to pay for their medical services using cash. So the advice is to always look up the online reviews for your doctors and run their name through the license search on the Texas Medical Board's website, because in this case, they would have been able to find that Padilla did not have an active license. Daniela. All right, Bryce, thank you so much. We will include your story on our website. Click to Houston.com for anyone else that may need this information. Bryce, thank you. Thank you, Keith.